Hi guys, we're uh, we're on our way. We're, we're on our way to Groendal, but we're not there yet. We're in uh, the Circle K in uh, Nortelia, and we've we've stopped for a coffee and to, to sketch out today's plan, um, which I believe I mentioned in the last episode was to build a box to store our stuff. I think I was cut off um, at the end of, the, of that message, um, but uh, that, that's what happens. But what we're saying was that we can't put our painting equipment in the studio, um, so we have to build a box that would be suitable to place outside in a public square. So it has to look look right, look good, and uh, be strong enough to withstand the elements and perhaps if some of you guys have a bit too much sauce or something you might, you know, get it in your head to vandalise it or something. So it's got to be strong enough. So we're about to get on the bus, but I, I just this second looked out the window and look at that. Look at that. I don't know, is, is it like that where you are now? I mean, someone, one of you will have to tell me where a good spot to see the sun, sun rises. So I don't know, but here, in Mortelia, this seat in the corner of Circle K is a great spot. Let's go out and have a better look. Yes, look at that. Goodness me. See, there's something about this this painting business, guys. Um, we haven't talked at all about it yet. But it really stops you. It, it, it brings you up. It, it, whatever you're thinking. As soon as you see something like that sunset, or, or you can feel to do is, is get the paints out. It's amazing. Uh, but I'll, I'll try and show you that soon enough. But we've got to build this box first and we'll see how it goes. But when you start looking you see boxes everywhere on the street. But we're going to build one, custom built. Jonas, the course leader, has got all the tools. He's also got a contact at the the, uh, the wood suppliers, which is on the main road where the tram goes, just after the stop, which is I think called Trecanton, and it's uh, it's close by to the development site. And I went in that shop on Jonas's advice, uh, and I walked. As soon as I walked in, someone yelled at me, and I think they said that it, this shop's not for customers; it's it's for business accounts. Um, so, so I said I, I know, and, and just carried on. But uh, indeed, they, they've got all the wood one might ever need to, to build anything, and apparently. Jonas has uh, an agreement with the owner which might see us secure the wood for free. That's the idea. So uh, we're going to get on the bus and um, see you down there. Right guys, we've just got off the bus at Dandard and uh, we'll be with you soon and we'll see if we can get on with this box.
Et comme il n'y a pas de temps, il n'y a pas de temps. Mais on ne t'a pas fait un peu plus. Oui, c'est ça. Right guys, we're here at last. We can uh, get on with the day's events and get back to showing you guys what we do. Uh, the first thing we've got to do uh, is to get some lunch. Uh, and that means going to Lidl up here because we, we tend not to eat much uh, at lunch and we just gr grab a bread roll at Lidl. Anyway, that, that's, uh, that's my business. <laughs> Bit of activity there. Do you know those guys? Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're on our way and uh, I suppose it's 10 minutes walk from here, isn't it? You know, I was sketching around here uh, a week or two ago before we made the decision to, to stop our, our previous project and to start up a new one talking to the, you you good people of Grandal. and I was here sketching uh, these trees <clears throat> and uh, when I was sketching them there, there was an awful lot more leaves and, and I was I was waiting for the leaves to disappear so that I could see through the tree onto the to the architecture and, and the uh, the logos of all the businesses there. And now I think that will be a pretty good painting. So we'll see what we can do. In fact, it, it might be a good painting to do in the snow. Assuming we get any snow. But anyway, we're here, we're here in the shop. Certainly where I live, there hasn't been as much uh, snow as there used to be. Um, my, my partner tells me of her childhood winters, which are very different to the ones we have now. She, she could rely on snow for weeks and months. Uh, and she could do you know, winter sports, ice skating, pretty much guaranteed. Oh, hold on a second. Look, do you see? They've got, uh, they've got these brushes, look. Now that might come in handy. 
since we're starting fresh over here, uh, the wretched paint needs a few brushes. What have we got? Uh, 60 chroma. You know, I think we're going to have to have to get them as well. And then uh, a couple of bread rolls, and they will be golden. Yeah, so the, the winter is a bit of an unpredictable one. We can work in the winter, no problem. Uh, because it's oil paint, it doesn't freeze. We, we can just carry on in just about any conditions, even minus five or six, as long as the snow doesn't fall on the pallet. So we might be able to do that. Hold on a second. Hey. Hey. Yes, attack. So now we uh, really can get going and um, I'll turn it back on hopefully in the wood supply shop. And if all goes absolutely according to plan, we'll be uh, manning the, the power tools by about 12 o'clock, with it all finished by 4. Let's see how that pans out. Right guys, we've, uh, we've been in and spoken to Jonas, and we've got the go-ahead to come and select our wood from the wood store, which uh, here we are. And uh, we've been instructed to go to the office to show uh, the email that uh, Jonas has sent me. And then we can select our, our wood and hopefully be back there uh, in an hour or so and, and start, the, start the building. And then, uh, having, having discussed my, my design with Jonas, it seems to be in order and uh, an acceptable size and uh, structurally sound enough to, to go in the space. We should be a, uh, able to get it done, if not today, certainly by tomorrow. So we'll go in, pop into the office and get this started. Okay guys, we have succeeded in getting the wood, now we've just got to take it back to the lab and we should be in business. The only problem is they don't have a wagon, uh, so it's a, it's a case of me taking it one by one, which isn't the end of the world since it's only about 500 metres. But uh, I suppose if I was streaming this live, I could put out a request for one of you kind folk uh, from Groendal to come and help. But this is not live. And in fact, we're, we're yet to work out exactly how we are going to put this up. Um, but that, that's, a, that's another story. I can't think much past getting this box made and then getting out doing some painting next week. Right guys, 
we managed to secure a wagon after all. So that sped things up a bit. I'm just going to take it back and then uh, we'll start building. I'm just going to put you down a second. Are you still there? Um, I must have left it on. Maybe you were enjoying it. Maybe I could put you back. The uh, people of Grand Isle might have been enjoying a little uh, view of the clouds there. Let's put you back, see how it goes. going in the shop now guys but I, I'll, I'll let you in Just waiting for a big truck to get out of the way here.
So there we are. That's about the concluded the getting of the wood situation. And now comes the difficult bit. But as I said, I think we've got a decent plan to make a, a good strong box. I better turn this off before I get run over by a, a forklift. Right guys, we've, uh, we've made a start, we've got it all set up here, we've done a couple of cuts and now we're having a, a little lunch break with our little uh, rolls, so you see it's all coming together. We're sitting outside the lab, by the way. It seems like quite a lot of you guys don't know about this place. I mean, I suppose it's not an open gallery. It's not a public space, really. It's open occasionally. Um, Roger, for example, at the, the builder's yard, he, he didn't know. Um, but he, he, he knew of Jonas, but I'm not sure if he's been here. There's an account in place, that's why we got all this for free. And uh, of course you probably know Roger, he's a very nice chap. Usually this, this place would be filled with the other participants, but because we live in Nortelio, we're able to come back um, in between the, the weeks where everyone else comes and we can get on with things like this. Thanks. There's one, there's one uh, architect who comes from Italy. He's going to be coming from Italy for one week every month for the next year. So it's quite a thing this place, so you, you guys should check it out. It, it's all very good. I mean E even, well, let, let's say only the most hardened, outright, sort of uh, bitter, angry, far-right person might describe what's happening here as wokery. Obviously, you, you guys have to deal with this uh, as well in, in, in a lot of European countries. It's the same sort of discussion where uh, anything remotely that's about uh, being thoughtful about the, the, the environment that might involve a little bit of uh, artistic or creative input that might be a little bit critical of existing conditions is it is labeled as, as wokery you know obviously 
it's a, an absurd tactic of, of far-right politics to uh, name an, an enemy so basically and then uh, gather everybody around that. So, you know, but you'd have to be the hardest, the hardest, most rigid of SD type uh, far-right thinking to label what's going on at a place like this as simple wokery. But we're meant to be having a nice lunch break and furthermore we go on about that a lot in our work of the past because we've had to because we've looked at the post-truth era and the disorientation it causes and, and the disorientation it causes to everybody you know And when you look at that, you've got to look at the far right rather closely and as well as the far left and, and everything else. But that's not what we want to do here. We want to build a box. Then we want to do some paintings, get to know the area. And we want to do that while talking to you guys, the people of Grandal, who know the area best. And Whilst, once we get that going, then we're going to work out what we're going to do on the course here, you know. So it's, it's all going to be linked and with a bit of luck, we can leave behind some of our usual panicking about the culture war info sphere post-truth madness. Um, and that might be wishful thinking considering the election in the USA next year. But that's, that's next year. I'm going to put you down now and, and get on with my lunch. If I turn it on again this episode, it will hopefully to be to show you a, a finished or nearly finished box. I think there's been a crash over there of some sort. I'm going to check it out. Hi again guys, we, uh, we've, we've moved on, it's about four o'clock, we've got to go, we're hoping to get back by six, but we, uh, we're outside the lab, you can see how far we've got, well I'll show you how far we've got, we uh, haven't had any total disasters, but uh, it's come together rather well. That's where we're at. We haven't got time to do the lid, unfortunately. But what that will be over here, between the bin and this bike rack. And uh, we, we'll put our painting stuff in it. The bad news is, I've probably got to come back tomorrow. Or Monday, I don't know. We'll have to see, but one thing's for sure, I've got to go right now. So I'll see you guys next time I'm in Grindel.